night, two armed suspects wanted by LAPD were caught near Adams Avenue in Ellendale Street, about a mile from campus. DPS used Trojans Alert to let students know there was police activity. Some USC students say they were unhappy with how little they were told before the suspects were caught. ATVN's Madison Keevy spoke with DPS about how they did what they did to notify students quickly. They're going to be going east, eastbound, correction, southbound, south of the, the route. Give me an airship. Tuesday night, USC students received a Trojans alert telling them to stay away from Ellendale Street, just two blocks from campus. Cop cars started swarming the neighborhood and choppers started coming in. Motion was still going on after a couple minutes and came back out and there was cop cars stationed about every five houses. DPS Chief David Carlisle says during a routine traffic stop, two suspects took off running. One was caught near Ralph's grocery store and the other ran into the neighborhood around Ellendale. LAPD Southwest Division requested DPS for perimeter backup. Roofing 76 is requesting a backup air unit supervisor for a man with a gun. Control 3, is there uh, any way to try to notify the students that are in the area? We have a lot of pet traffic. Students who live on Ellendale had no idea the Trojans alert was a suspect with a gun. I would have liked to have more details and know exactly what was going on. It would have been nice to say that there's a gunman out there and so really don't go outside. I guess I was like so annoyed that I forgot to think about that there was someone with a gun like by our house. DPS says that in incidents like the one that happened here last night, they try to give out as much information as they can as quickly as they know it. We have to be very careful in what we say in a Trojans alert because we don't want to be wrong. Carlisle said these types of incidents are reviewed on a case by case basis. 6,000 people are signed up to receive Trojans alert. Madison Keevy, ATVN.